This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Ray Tracer by The Fat Rat. Alright, give you a preview before we start learning. It goes like this, check it out. Okay, let's get right into it. So melody and chords, that's the foundation. And afterwards you can add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own version. So right hand starts on the E up here, middle C is here for a reference, go up an octave C up to the E is where we start. So let's start. So it goes E, E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, F sharp, E. Okay, that's the first part. Let's learn it once again. So it goes E, E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, F sharp, E. That's it for the first part for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords for the first part. We have A major, which is A, C sharp, E. And first inversion of E major, which is G sharp, E, E. With these two chords in mind, so A major followed by first inversion of E major. The two hands together goes like this. E and A major together. That's an E chord by itself. Like that. There you go. Let's load it once again. So it goes together. Yeah. All right, moving on to the second part, Ryan continues, goes B, E, D sharp, E, E, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, B, like that. All right, let's learn it again, it goes B, E, D sharp, E, E, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, down to B. That's it on the right hand, left hand, we have two chords with A major, A, C sharp, E, and then second chord, B major. B, D sharp, F sharp. With these two chords in mind, so A major and B major, the two ends together goes like this, E and A major together. No, not yet. So you have to start on the right hand, e, B, E, D sharp like that. So third, third, third together. That's E, B major by itself. And then Ryan continues with a B, like that. So let's learn it again. So the right hand goes together, here, like that. Let's learn it once again. So it goes together, here. Like that. So that's the second part back to back. The two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Awesome. Moving on to the third part, Ryan continues. Goes E, E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, F sharp, E. Okay, that's it for the third part. Let's learn it once again. So you can see that this right hand is actually similar to the first part. Let me just double check. Yeah, instead, in, in fact, actually, it's pretty much exactly the same right hand as the first part, but just the left hand, we have two different chords. We have C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp, and second chord, B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. With these two chords in mind, two hands together goes like this, the same placement, so it's gonna go here, like that. There you go. So this third part, right hand is the same as the first part, but the left hand, just two different chords, C sharp minor and B major, like this, to go here, like that. All right, back to back, the three parts we've learned so far, we play like this. Like that. There you go. All right, moving on to the uh, fourth part. The fourth part continues. Ryan got these E, D sharp, E, E, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp. That's it, let's learn it again, because E, D sharp, E, E, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp. That's it for the right hand. All right, left hand, we just have C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. With that in mind, turn together, goes like this. So right hand starts, E and chord to go. Like that, there you go. Let's learn it again, so it goes to go. Like that. So back to back, the four parts of learned in this lesson, we play like this. And then the fifth part is the same as the first part, so repeat. Yeah, and sixth part is also the same as the uh, 
second part you can say, and then the seventh part, same as the third part. And then the last part changes it up a little bit. The first six notes different, so right hand goes B, G sharp, B, and C sharp minor together, and then B, G sharp, B, B, and then same as before, G sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp. So yeah, so pretty much first, second, third part is the same as the fifth, sixth, seventh part, but the eighth part is uh, similar to the fourth part, but not exactly the same. Instead of E, D sharp, E, E, D sharp, E, instead of those six notes, da -da 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 -da, it goes, G, uh, B, G sharp, B, B, G sharp, B, like that, B, like that. Okay, so instead of da -da 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 -da, F sharp, seven notes actually. The seven, first seven notes of the fourth part is different. So instead of E, D sharp, E, E, D sharp, E, F sharp, we do B, G sharp, B, B, G sharp, B, B, but the remaining is the same. G sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp. Okay, and the left hand chord is also C sharp minor, so da -da 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 that's the eighth part. All right, so back to back. All eight parts will be played, I guess, so you can see the similarities and differences. Etc. You can repeat. Okay, awesome stuff. So once you get the melody and block chords all good, you can add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own version. Left hand, you can do octave bass and arpeggios. Bring your patterns. That kind of thing. And right hand, you can harmonize on the chords, play around. That kind of thing, okay? So you just play around. Yeah, play around and have fun. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this, by the way. If you want to learn other the Fat Rat songs I've done quite a bit in the past, search up the Fat Rat Amos dolls and to check out and learn the other very famous the Fat Rat catchy tunes. As for now, that's pretty much it. If you like how I teach in this video, how I break everything up step by step, part by part, you will most likely find another song that you'd like to learn by typing in your favorite song name followed by Amos doll in the search bar because I have over 10,000 piano videos on YouTube. If you want to go further beyond into learning music theory, playing by ear and improvisation, you can learn from my piano courses on my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in my description and bio. There, you will also find my song request services where you can request any song of your choice for me to make into a cover, a lesson, or sheet music. As for now, enjoy the rest of my content on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, and see you all next time.